Okay guys, what I have here today is a Whirlpool Cabrio Platinum. This machine is the same machine as the Maytag Bravos or Kimor Oasis. They come in several different colors, they come in several different kinds of trims. Uh, some of them have glass tops, some of them have you know lids that you can't see through. The control boards are a little bit different on some of them. They may have you know different options than others. Um, when you get to pumps and suspension and tubs Water valves, things like that, they're all pretty much the same. So what I'm going to do is go through some, you know, kind of frequent things that go bad on this machine and show you how to how to replace that, like, you know, the, the recirculation pump, the drain pump, the water valve, uh, control board, things like that. Uh, I don't really want to get into replacing things like the bearing or the tub in this series because I want to keep it on the level where... You know, most people that's, that's doing it themselves uh, can understand that's normally not something that, you know, your average do-it-yourselfer will want to tackle is, is replacing a bearing in one of these things because it takes a while and it, it can be kind of complicated and, and you even have to have a special tool to, to put that thing in. So this is just going to be a quick series on some frequent things that go bad on this machine and, and show you how to replace them. That way, you know, maybe you can save yourself a little money.